Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to um, use and install USB Advance. Now, um, a lot of people have been asking, you know, uh, how do you use USB Advance for uh, ISOs? It's pretty simple. It's not hard to do. There's two ways you can do it. Uh, this way, uh, you can start up USB Extreme and I would probably need you to download uh, a program called Magic Magic Disk. Um, from there, it'll create. Uh, I'll show you. It'll create a virtual CD-ROM right here, Drive Z. I already have a, a ISO mounted. And then once you do that, all you have to do is open up your Extreme. Uh, select the the virtual drive for me is Z. Select your hard drive. Then the game name that you want it to be, hit start. It's going to start install. Now, uh, just to show you preview that it works, uh, I'm going to go to one of my hard drives. Yes. Please input file name. Okay. Um, test. Whatever. Start. Yes. See? Now it's installing it. Uh, it, it shouldn't really take that long since it's an ISO, so it'll read it faster. But, uh, these are all the files that you need. See, look, I already have a couple files that I already made. Uh, you also need DVD decryptor to make the ISO correctly. Do not use Image Burn. I've used Image Burn, and the games they just don't come out right. I know it's like DVD decryptor, but it's not. DVD decryptor is uh is better. It's easier, and uh, it's it's I can trust it because every time I use it, it works. Don't worry, you won't get that. That's only for me. Um, after you have made the ISO, you can't just burn it straight to the the hard drive just yet. You have to use Power Defragmenter. Don't worry, I'll include it in my zip file. Power Defragmenter. What it does is it it defragments the file correctly to make sure that there's no errors inside of it. Um, once it's done with that, I'm going to show you preview. It's going to do four. I think I already did that one. So you can get this, it's going to pop up, you can get that. Once that's done, then you can go ahead and, and do the way that I told you with Magic uh, ISO and the uh, Virtual CD-ROM drive. But if you don't want to have to do all of that, you can either download USB Insane, which is uh, a little bit easier. So you have all the same thing with the uh, differences that you can select your ISO. I'm going to select it just to show you. Here's Grand Turismo 3. Open and GT3 just an example hard drive now if that doesn't show up this is why I like it but it's not doesn't really work all the time you'll be able to select it without restarting it you can just hit the CC see HBV I already have a, a test one installed hit rip ISO and it'll freeze that's perfectly normal don't worry it's not messed up it's still installing it but uh, I already have it so I don't really need to do it, but um, that's the other way you can do it. And then um, once once you have done uh, installing the games, all you have to do is uh, make sure you have a memory card that already has an exploit on it that allow you, allow you to boot up um, either free make boot or uh, what do you call it? You launch or something of that matter lets you browse uh flash drive or your hard drive wherever you see the the open piece to loader which is pretty good because it kind of they kind of copied the the characteristics and the look of uh, the PS3 and the PSP but it doesn't really have that good graphics but um and then you have the USB advance uh, here's uh, the file has everything in it it's a RAR file just to let you guys know so it has a these are for if you have a, a modded PS2 with a mod chip in it you can just bring to a disc and it'll boot up from there or you have these which is uh, these two I'll show you how to do in my next video or you can just look for uh, game dexterity and he'll show you how to do it himself which is the command line way which is a little bit more advanced um once you're done with that either if you don't see the file here you can just extract it with using uh, power ISO or something of that matter and see the elf is right there um, once once you're done with that, all you have to do is uh pop in your hard drive, look 
for the, the two L files, let's start either one of them up. And uh, I'm going to take you to the PS2 screen right now. Okay, so now that you have the game that you wanted, either from the original disc or the ISO, now that you have it on your hard drive, hard drive right here, if you have it on your hard drive, uh, make sure you connect it to one of the USB ports in the front. Doesn't matter which one, so as long as it's connected. Now, I'm assuming you have, like I said in the video earlier, you either have you launch or free make boot. I have free make boot in this case. Um, go to you launch. Now, once you're in you launch, uh, go to file browser, mass, and here's the, the games that you probably installed. Uh, either pick one of these two. USB Advance, you know, it works some games, and Open PS Loader works with other games, so you always want to have those two in there in case if you find a game that doesn't work with USB Advance you can try with Open PS2 Loader and the chances are it, you'll get it to work with Open PS2 Loader now I'm going to show you um, Open PS2 Loader you guys have probably already seen what USB Advance looks like just hit circle to boot it up see just like I said it looks like PS3 a little bit here's all my games I have a couple of them, I'm not going to explain this to you right now. Um, like I showed you one of the games I was going to burn, Gran Turismo 3. Uh, hit X to start it, and you're going to get a whole bunch of flashing colors. There you go. As it boots up, just to show you that it works. And uh, here's my PS2, just to show you that I'm not lying. I'm going to open up the disc tray. See? No disc perfectly fine and uh... yeah that's how you do it now for me um... since the memory card I, I don't have you know enough space for the game it's gonna check in it's gonna take a while for it to start up don't worry it, it works it does work fine see starting the game now and uh... thank you for watching please rate comment and subscribe and, and uh... yeah you're gonna have it, and and no, it is not true that with it doesn't happen with all games. There's like a couple games that I've tried that the intros are perfectly fine and not laggy like this one. It, it depends on the game and how fast it was reading it and burning it. So it's a little complicated. So sometimes you'll just get lucky and you'll get a you know a good burn with a, at least hopefully you hope that the game is working. And because I really don't care about the intros too much, just worry about the game.